U.S. Navy uses paper scanners and charts after fatal incidents. The U.S. Navy has asked warships to return to use the compass and draw a hand chart to track the dangers of deadly accidents in 2017. The New York Times said the U.S. Navy has taken a series of emergency measures to avoid repetition of unfortunate events after four shipwrecks in the Pacific, including two fatal collisions people. Urgent solutions include crew rest more and do not work more than 100 hours a week. Sailors who lack a certificate of maritime activity will not be allowed to board the ship until the training is completed. Warships, when moving into multiple seas, must broadcast their location to other vessels. Minute using modern sensors. U.S. Navy warships are equipped with Automatic Identification System ASI, to detect the location and speed of ships moving around. However, the captains often ordered the ASI shut down because they did not want to disclose the location of the U.S. warship. This will be changed under the new decree. The U.S. Navy's emergency measures are not new, and these are clear provisions in maritime naval activity that have been ignored for years. The U.S. Navy applied these measures only after two consecutive accidents in just two months, causing 17 sailors to die. The problems that are happening with the U.S. Navy have been monitored by the National Guard. Society and Navy experts warned from 2010. Many of the issues we are discussing today have been known by naval leaders for years. How to explain to us that Admiral, Senator John McCain, Chairman of the Senate Armed Services Committee, questioned Admiral John M. Richardson, in Congress. Admiral Richardson was unable to provide an explanation. The new directive was issued by Vice Admiral Thomas Rowden, commander of the U.S. Navy in the Pacific. The order was made based on the data that the commanders collected during the suspension of operations worldwide last month. Officials and former naval officials said the new regulation marked some significant changes in the U.S. Navy's culture of operation. Safety and the operation of warships should be at the forefront. Commanders require sailors to use compasses and pencils to draw voyages and mark potential hazards. The operating rules for crew members performing navigation tasks when the captain is not present on the command post are subject to review. Accident Overload In the first nine months of 2017, U.S. Navy warships operating in the Pacific suffered four accidents, including two catastrophic accidents. On June 17, the destroyer USS Fitzgerald collided with the ACX Crystal container ship off the coast of Japan, killing seven crew members. On August 21, the destroyer USS John S. McCain collided with an offshore tanker. The Singapore coast caused 10 sailors to die. Both ships suffered heavy damage to the hull and had to be repaired. Some U.S. Navy commanders argue that the current size of the Navy is much smaller, while still performing the same tasks the Great Fleet had done a decade ago. The warships had to be deployed constantly, giving the crew less time to rest, train and maintain. General Joseph F. Dunford, Jr., chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, told Congress in a September 25 hearing of his visit to the USS Barry. According to General Dunford, the ship has been at sea for up to 70% of its time in 12 months. A report by the Office of Government Auditors announced in May said sailors had to work up to 108 hours a week. The U.S. Naval Academy will undertake a short study of the negative biological impact of crew overwork. However, Senator McCain said that if sailors actually work 100 hours a week, no further research is needed. According to him, the Navy is trying to find an excuse to justify the shortcomings of its operation recently. recently.